All right, guys, if you wish to, if you want to know how to get Saints Row 2 working on your PC, this is what you want to do. This is like beginning of the tutorial. Firstly, you want to come to GOG. You want to buy the game on GOG. Once you buy the game on GOG, then want to install it. But where you want to install it is the most important part. You want to make sure that you install it onto your C drive. Anyway, once you've installed it on the C drive, it should technically just work straight off the bat. Do not, whatever you do, do not get it on Steam because as far as I'm aware of, and I've tried this myself, it just does not work. Or it does, but it only works up until like maybe the first mission or whatever. Then you just get, then you just run into a bunch of crashes. The game just gives up and just doesn't work properly. So might as well just forget it. Then the next, the next thing is if you want mods for your game, you're looking at if you want like a Gentleman of the Row, then want to come to this website here, Gentleman of the Row. You then want to download Gentleman of the Row. Once you do that, then then want to extract the files. As soon as you extract the files, the file extraction should look like this. Once you've extracted the files and read through this, I would literally recommend reading through the README. README should come up like this. Make sure you read through everything because it will tell you everything that you need to know. Because honestly, a lot of people miss out when they don't actually read the README. Every time you try to, every any mod that you want to use, make sure you read. Make sure you read. And understand how how it all works because you can easily easily mess up. Um. Anyway, as as you can see here, I'm not going to go into every bit of details, but it goes into details of the options menu. So, trolls and on prompts uh menu, all co-op compatible compatible. Sorry. Um. So if you want the 360 buttons shows you there ps3 sticky camera uh, handling cardless whatever then you got the character creation slide sliders menu super sliders muscles height mods you got the animation mods menu you got all of these rollerblade anim animations piece animation Got these super good, whatever. Um, co op compatible, minor ish graphics and texture menus. Uh, menu for all of these clothing and ta tattoos, extra gang type menu, weapon menu, mo uh, mod menu. You've got all of these. You've got a uh, vehicle menu, audio menu. Um, camera menu, misc, blah 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 blah. You got all of this, but again, like this is good to read through because depending on what you want, you know, we're gonna go through that now. So once you read through all of that, you're gonna then want to go back into your folder. You're then going to want to click on create custom GOTR, which stands for Gentleman of the Road. Once you run that, it will come up with this. Welcome to, I'm not going to read all of that. I'm just going to keep this nice and simple. Press any key to continue. So as you can see, the menu here is the same menu as what I just told you about in the notepad. This is how you build your own mod, mod install, right? So depending on what you want to do, 
it's all there for you. In any case, if you want to wipe all of your thing, you just basically press X and enter. I'm not going to actually do it because there's no point because I haven't added anything. So the next thing is to build. So you can put build original, boring, non-modded vanilla patch if you hate fun. Basically, it just adds in all the patches. So you just press V and enter. The other thing that you can do is we can just go in and we can just press one. Have a look. Uh, so because we've got an Xbox 360 controller, we can just press one. Press Y. Um, we can return to the. Let's go to character creation slider. Don't want anything there. Let's go to animation mods. Yeah, I don't want any uh, graphics. Like you can add all types of stuff. I'm just gonna say no. Clothing. Uh, I'm just gonna say no. Extra gang. I'm wondering, can we? Oh, is it the, these replace? Okay, so you can press you can press the same number and it removes it. Um. Um, let's go next page. None of these are looking enti sound enticing to me. Next page. Like a gang, maybe. Phone gang, Saints, Rose. Let's return to the menu. I'm not going to add these anyway because, I mean, I've already got mine modded. I'm just showing you an example. Press 5. For example, or we can just press six. Sorry, let's do six. Um, eight. Let's have a look. Uh, revert. Nah. Uh, audio menu. Um. Uh, original sandbox plus use codes to teleport and other fun stuff let's do seven twelve Wait, can we? Oh, we can select certain one. All right. Press zero and then press P. Once you've selected whatever, press P. And that'll build everything for you. And now we just wait. Right, once that's done. See, we're, we're already in there. Uh, Right, once that's done, go back to Explorer. As you can see, you've got two files. So let me just double check. Again, we go back into the, uh, go back to reading. 
Uh, when you're not satisfied, manually move these three fi new files. So files, custom. So into so when you go into the custom patch, see these three files. You go copy. When when you've copied those three files, you then go into your Saints Row Saints Row Two folder. And then you paste it all in here. I'm not actually going to do it because I've already done. I've already done my. I've already pasted it in. For myself, um, I've already patched stuff for myself. Sorry, um, I've actually added re myself, uh, even though I've got to redo the re. But anyway, yeah. So that's basically it. That's basically how you mod uh, uh, Saints Row 2. Oh, the last thing. The last thing before I actually uh, end off this video. Is when we go back to previous folder. If you want your own custom mods. Optional mod stuff. I think it's in here. Put, put your other mods inside here. Because it will patch all the other mods from here into that patch as well. And it will include everything. And then it will you'll basically be able to add that into your game as well. But yeah, hopefully that has helped. And uh, yeah, that's it for the video.